Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of the drainage tools available to us in Infor 360. We're going to create a drainage area, understand a watershed essentially, add in a culvert where the water is going to cross our new road, and then we're going to add some pavement drainage for our new design. We start by selecting the watershed tools and then select the watershed analysis button. Select the entirety of the design road by selecting the road and then simply pressing enter. Infor 360 will upload the data to the cloud, including all of the terrain information available to it, calculate a watershed, and then return that to you to display in your Infor 360 model. This can take a few minutes, so we fast forwarded some of the time. Now, in this case, you can see where the water is crossing under our new design road based on that point of interest marker. Now, we can also simply select the road and we can add in a drainage culvert automatically. Again, select the road, right click, drainage, add culverts. And you'll see it's going to place just a basic barrel under the road showing where the culvert will be necessary. Now, in the second half of these videos, we'll go ahead and look at some sizing and the barrel configuration of that culvert, but this is just the first pass. We can also add street drainage using a simple right-click menu. Again, add drainage network, and in this case, you're able to select a multitude of different inlets, manholes, and pipeline sizes. In Forex 360 looks at the cross slope, the maximum spread, and places a pipe network underneath our new design road. This again will take just a few seconds, but once it's done, we can pan in, zoom, and if we tilt below grade, you'll actually see the structures that are being placed in the model. Now, all of these structures will be passed along to Civil 3D when we're ready for final design. But inside of Infor 360, we can do some pretty good design and understand what's happening with drainage. If we select one of the inlets, you can see we get gutter depth and we can see the contributing area as well as the local depression if there's any standing water. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infor 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and Infra Tips, where you can learn more ways to make Infrax 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.